Hi all, today I'll be sharing a video on basic printer related issues and their solutions as well. This video is definitely going to benefit all home users as well as people who are using printers in their office. All right, guys, now let's discuss the importance of printers. Can't live without them can't nuke them. You could always toss a misbehaving inkjet or laser out of the window, but where would that leave you? Truth be told, we need our printers, despite their maddening quirks. Here is a saner idea. Take a deep breath, channel your inner tech support rep, and repair that which has failed you. All right, guys, as you can see on your screen, pictures of renowned brand of printers, which we are commonly using at our home or offices. Further in our video, you will learn most common issues that may arise while using them and their best solutions. How to connect Wi-Fi enabled printer. First, unpack your printer. Second, Follow the setup instructions to remove packaging. Next, plug in the power cord. Turn on the printer and, and install print cartridges. Allow the printer to go through its startup routine, including printing an alignment page, if applicable. Next, if your printer support it and you choose an Ethernet or wired connection, Connect it now and skip to installing printer software. Note, while using an Ethernet connection, the printer wireless system is disabled. How to change inkjet printer cartridges. First, open the top of your printer. Most printer models politely center the carriage to provide you with access to the cartridges when you open the printer's top. Now, after you have access to the cartridges, turn off your printer. Never try to change the cartridges in a printer that's still powered on. Believe me, your fingers will thank me. Lift or turn the latches holding the ink cartridge in place. Most inkjet printers have at least two cartridges, one for black and one for color. So make sure that you are working with the right cartridge before you remove it. Remove the used cartridge. Consider refilling your used cartridge rather than buying a brand new one. Load the new or refilled cartridge into the printer. Be sure to fasten the latch to hold the cartridge down. Turn your printer back on and close the lid. Your ink changing task is done. Basic printer troubleshooting. When you are having problem printing, you would have to determine if everyone is having a problem printing to this printer or if you are the only one having a problem. If everyone is having a problem, it is likely there is either something wrong with the printer or there could be a network problem. If only you are having a problem, it is likely a problem with your computer, your connection to the network, or could be connection with the printer. Or there might be a problem with the application or a file you're working with or fit for which you want print. Now we will discuss basic printer display errors. 
most network printers will have a display that will tell you its status. If on your printer there is no display, then you must turn the printer on. If your printer display shows offline, please press the go button. If this does not change the printer display to online, power the printer off for one minute and then turn it back on. Okay guys, now if your printer display shows paper jam, please open the doors and remove any paper, being careful not to tear it and lose pieces inside. Paper may also be lodged under the toner cartridge, so you may have to pull it out. If you believe you have removed the paper, but the display still says paper jam, power the printer off for one minute and turn it back on. If the jam is severe, contact the printer vendor for their expertise to rectify the problem. If your printer display shows processing job, but nothing is printing the job, a job may just be really large and taking a while to print. If it hasn't printed after five minutes, press the cancel job button on the printer. If the job will not cancel, power the printer off for one minute and turn it back on. Printer display shows input output or other error. Most input output errors will be cleared by powering the printer off for one minute and turning it back on. You may also need to check to make sure the network cable on the printer is plugged securely into the printer and into the network jack on the wall. Okay, if your printer display shows tray empty, add paper to the appropriate tray. If your printer has some lights and those lights are flashing, some printers will have flashing light codes to tell you what is wrong. These differ from manufacturer to manufacturer and also from model to model. Consult your manual or manufacturer's website. Now let's talk a little advance. If on your printer there is no error, I mean on the printer display, your printer display might be saying ready or power save, but you're still unable to print. There are other troubleshooting steps that we have to do. There could be a problem of work offline or printer is paused. To fix these issues on your computer, we have to click on start. Then we have to click on devices and printers. Then we have to go to printer, the respective printer from which we want to take print. Make sure use printer offline or pause printing are not selected. If either is checked, click it to remove the check. If the print job does not print, I request you to please reboot your computer. When you log back in, try to print again. Okay guys, let's discuss other printer errors. Sometimes there is no display error, but still we are unable to print. It could be because of cables. Please check to make sure all cables are connected securely. This includes the power cable, connection from your computer to the printer. I'm talking about local printer, and especially connection from printer to the network jack in the wall in case you're using network printer. Sometimes they look like they're plugged in all the way. Actually, they're not plugged in properly. To be safe, unplug the cable, plug it back in, and this is really important in case of a network printer. Sometimes 
we are not able to print because of a printer driver issue. In the case of local printer, sometimes a driver can become corrupted. Please try downloading the newest driver from your manufacturer's website and reinstall the printer. Sometimes we are not able to print because of a application problem or a particular file problem. I would like to suggest you please try to print from another application such as Word, Outlook, Excel, etc. If you can't print from any other application, please reboot your computer and check the printer for any error message. If you can't print from another application as well, it could be a problem with the application itself or there could be something wrong with the file you're working on. Please try opening a new blank document. Type in few words in that. Try to print that new document. If it prints, there is something wrong with your initial file. If it doesn't print, please again restart your computer. Try printing again. If it still doesn't print, try to reinstall your application. All right, guys. Sometimes print jobs may get stuck in the queue and will need to be deleted before anyone else can print using the network printer. To delete a print job, we can press the cancel button on the printer. You can also delete your own jobs by clicking on your computer start button, then go to devices and printers then please double click your printer and you can delete your pending jobs from the list. All right, friends, now we come to the last part of our presentation where I'll be sharing with you some common printer troubleshooting tips. First, I would like to tell you always reboot your computer. This generally solves most printing problems. Next, I would like to tell you if it, if your printer is not printing or you're getting a message about the fax printer, please change your default printer. In order to ch uh, change the default printer, please go to start, then go to devices and printers, right click on your printer and please select the option set as default printer. Next, uh, I would like to share with you, make sure, check, also make sure all connection going to and coming from the printer are firmly connected and placed. Also check that your printer is online and to test that you can uh, print a test page. If that print and the application you are using doesn't, you probably need to reinstall the application or go to the vendor. Friends, to add on to my printer troubleshooting tips, always turn off your printer for 10 seconds and turn it back on. Make a note of any error message or flashing lights that comes on your printer when you turn it back on. If your printer is connected directly to another computer, try rebooting that computer. Also, you may try to uninstall and then reinstall your network printer. If you're facing any problem with your printer or computer, for our viewers in United States and Canada, please contact on our toll-free number 1-800-230-5093. And for viewers in United Kingdom, please dial 0800-051-3905. Our support specialists are available 24 hours to resolve all issues on your first call. Thank you for watching this video. We appreciate your time and interest.